Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. As well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the OG Stitch Crochet Afghan. This thing is an intermediate level. Completely agree that it's an intermediate level but I'm gonna try to break it down for you today including my working notes for you to have on the crochetcrowd.com. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna decipher this. This is using Bernat Velvet Yarn. There are a total of six balls. So two colors of each of the indigo, the velvet teal and the white in order to make this. And when you're looking at this you're actually looking at the blanket upside down. So it's actually hanging from a different perspective than you, what you would do when you crochet. I wanna tell you, you're gonna get addicted to this one. This one is truly amazing and wait till you see my sample. Honestly, I just need to do a few rows and then I'm good to go for the videotaping but I kept going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. So today I'm gonna show you my notes and then I'm gonna get you started. But let me show you my sample just to tease you a little bit further. Okay, so don't worry about the tails. You will have to deal with those. I'm not even gonna deny that you'll have to deal with those. So here is my working sample. This is the way that it looks like on the couch. But when you go to crochet them, this, you're going to be crocheting it from this perspective of going up and down. This is can really, really quite fantastic. I love this. I think they did a really good job for this. Um, it really uh, got me all excited because I haven't seen anything like it. So what this is consisting of is that you will notice that there is like a, a comes along and then it jets up and then it comes back down and comes down. So it's consisting of two rows in order to make that. So we're gonna come across. So I want you to visualize this dark blue. So you're gonna see it comes across and then we're gonna jump and then come across down the other side and when we start we have to slip stitch a number and then create these 10 double crochets that sit here and then we slip stitch, jump over and then slip stitch and then create the 10 again. So every one of these waves are consisting of two rows when you go to do it. The trick is and what will boggle your mind a little bit is knowing how many to slip stitch but I provided my working notes to you because that was my hang up the very first time because if you saw my first sample wasn't very pretty my friends. So what I also noticed here when I did the sample I should have changed row number uh, one and two to in order to be a different color so that it would look like it matches. So I wasn't really sure what I was doing so that's kind of something that I learned afterwards. So we're gonna do that here. You can do three colors like it shows in the in the picture. You can do two. I'd recommend you at least change the colors to enjoy this even more and I think it's quite awesome. So let's take you to the working notes. Let's blow your minds and let's uh, open them up and see what you can do with this today. Okay, so here's the cheat sheet. I know your eyes are just spinning. I'm like, oh my god, I'm never gonna be sick. Uh, <laughs> stop the whining even for me. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to start off with our chain. The chain is in multiples of 12 plus 2. So if you wanna change the size of this you just go 12, 12, 12 and when you're happy and life is good just chain an extra 2 and then you can begin uh, this pattern as is. If you'd like to do the exact same thing that you see in the pattern it's chaining of 158. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna chain and then we're gonna uh, single crochet second chain from the hook all the way back across your chain. And you want this color to be the same color as number two. So we're gonna chain up one, single crochet in the first, slip over two and then skipping two and you're gonna put three double crochets in the next, four into the next, three into the next. So you can see this is over three single crochets this happens. So you're going to skip over two, slip stitch the next two, chain one, skip one and then slip stitch the next two and then begin this all over again. So skipping two, three into the next, four into the next, three into the next, skip two, slip two and then uh, skip one, chain one and etc. You're gonna do that all the way across. So now what you wanna do then is rows three and four are going to be the same color. So three what's gonna happen is that these here arcs are back loop only. That's what's creating the texture in this thing. So you're just gonna go one into the first, two, one, two, one. This is always the same. So it's one, two, one, two, one. And then you're just gonna chain three and starting in the very next one is one, two, one, two, one. It's the same. So if you understand it's like a mirror so one side is matching the other. You're then going to just single crochet into this chain one space and then start again. So starting in this first one. So one, two, one, two, one. Chain three starting in the next one. One, two, one, two, one and keep doing that all the way across. The trick is is that we want to then on chain our number four we need to slip stitch. So we slip stitch one, two, three, four, the fifth one over. 
you're going to then in this chain three space apply ten double crochets and then you're going to skip over to the third one. That's why I have it three, four, five. So this is one, two that you're skipping and then it's gonna slip in the third, the fourth and the fifth, chain one and you're going to skip up to the third one. So one, two, see this is the third one, four, five and then you're going to apply ten into this chain three and when you come down the other side skipping over to the third one. So one, two is your skip and slip stitching in three, four, five, chain one and then start on this one skipping up to the third one. So one, two and you're going slip stitching in the third, fourth and the fifth and ten into the chain three and then etc. So at the end of this you do wanna slip stitch the remaining five that are left. So three, four, five, six and seven and that's where you're gonna finish off. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to start off and what we have is that we're gonna move on to row number five and five will be the same or be a new color and then you start off and you're going to immediately just being able to slip stitch into the fourth one or the fifth one here and then double crochet. They're in the back loops only. So one, two, one, two, one. Where have you seen that before? It's the same. Chain three, go to the next one. One, two, one, two, one and then single crochet into this chain one space. Then immediately come to the first one. One, two, one, two, one, chain three, next one, one, two, one, two, one and then single crochet in there and you're gonna do that all the way till you get to the other side and when you slip stitch that one you're slipping into the third one here. So okay, you see that? And therefore when you go to start the next one because it's the same color you're just gonna chain one and you're going to slip stitch five. So one, two, three, four, five and then you're putting your ten into this chain three. You're skipping your two, okay? and then it's the third one. So slip, slip, slip okay and, and what you're going to do is chain one, come to the third one. So slip, slip, slip and ten into the chain three coming over here. It's slip three, four, five, chain one, slip three, four, five. Do you see that? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get ourselves started and we're gonna go slowly on this thing. It is not as hard as it looks and we're gonna just play it by ear basically. So let's begin and let's start your chain work. Okay, so let's start and we are going to create a slip knot to begin. You can chain a multiples of 12 plus two at the end or you can just do 158 and you can use your Bernat Velvet yarn. If you wish I'm using Karen one pound with a six millimeter hook just for demonstration purposes. I am going to do a multiple. I'm just gonna do a small sample. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's one multiple. So I'm gonna do it again. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and I'm gonna do one more multiple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. Once you're satisfied you can just lay it down on something and see if that's wide enough for you and then when you're satisfied just add two more and you're done. To begin the next row, number one, second chain from the hook, get the back loop only and just going into the back loop and I want you to apply one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way across your chain. So please do that and we'll keep this color on then for row number two and then we'll begin from that point really the fun stuff. So let's uh, do that just single crochet across your chain. So come to the end of your chain and just single crochet and then we're gonna turn and then we're gonna bring back our diagram to show you what to do. So in row number two what we're going to do is we're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet in the first one. We're gonna slip stitch the next two, one, two and then we're gonna skip two and put three double crochets in the next one. The next one will be four and the next one will be three. So over these three that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna skip two, slip stitch the next two, chain one, skip one and then slip stitch the next two, skip two 
and then continue the same thing going all the way across. This 10 matters because you'll see this up here as 10 up here. So what we're doing is that we're equally space, spacing it out in the chain. You will notice in this diagram that this section right here is a little bit wider. It also appears like that in the sample. So it's a little bit wider just at the very top here. No big deal. Not a deal breaker. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna start off row number two. Keep the same color and then we're gonna be getting rid of this color next. So let's begin. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet in the very first one. And then we're gonna slip stitch the next two. So just going in, pull through and through. So one and do the next one and two. You're going to skip the next two. So one and two and you're going to apply three double crochets in the first one that are in the third one away. Once that three is in, skip to the next one and put four double crochets in the next one. So one, two, three, and four. Finally, we're gonna come to the very next stitch and apply three more double crochets in there. So that will complete that um, big shell look that we're going for. Then, you're going to skip the next two. So one and two, slip stitch the next two after that. So one and two, chain one, skip the next one and then slip stitch in the next two after that. And then begin another shell. So to do that, you're gonna skip the next two and put three double crochets in the next one after that. Then they're gonna go to the next one and you're gonna put four. So it's the middle part of the shell. And then the next one after that is gonna have three. So I want you to repeat this going all the way across your um, single crochet row. And remember once that's done, skip two, slip stitch into the next two chain one, skip one, slip stitch in the next two and then begin the next shell. So skipping two, three double crochets in the next. Just remember that the middle one of the grouping of, of the th set has only four and it has four. So it has an extra double crochet in order to do that. The goal is, is that you need ten and that's what they're going for in today's pattern. So you want to do that all the way across and I'm putting a three into the next one here. And so eventually you'll come to the next edge like I'm about to. So to do that then I'm skipping two and I'm slip stitching the next two. And if your counts are right and you did your multiples right or you did the chain 158, the last stitch will be a single crochet. So I want you to um, get rid of this color now. So just fasten off. I would get rid of your tails as you go. It just is a lot easier. And uh, you want to use a tapestry needle I believe in order to do that. In order to get it nice and secure. And again that's your, your call if you would like to do that. So it probably will never fall out on you if you use a tapestry needle. And you just wanna just go in the side edge. And I'm just turning it to the back side here. So the goal is, is to go back and forth the total of three times with this. And it's worth spending the extra time now than it is to have a project with all these tails hanging out. So just stay within there, this section and just stay nice and close to the edge. And then you can just go right to there. If you'd like to get rid of your first uh, tail, now is the time to do it as well. And you might as well just start doing all that and getting it all out of the way so that you have less work to do at the end. So secure your tails. This is the only time I'm gonna show this. Um, I did have another needle to start on, on how to do this but I just threw it out. <laughs> I've been fighting with that needle for a few tutorials and I realized it's just not working for me. You know that's the nice thing about um, consumers that we have choices in what we use and uh, sometimes things just don't work the way that we would like them to so we have to make other decisions. So we're going to now move on to row number three and so you will have this done and let's begin row number three next. So let's begin row number three. I'm just gonna start off with a slip knot to begin. And this is where I finished off. So what I'm just gonna do is turn it and turn it around. 
So I'm gonna start off and let me take you to the diagram and I'm just gonna slip stitch this to the top of the first to the single crochet that I finished with. Let's just slip stitch it there and let's go back to the diagram now. So in the diagram what we're gonna have is that we've just attached this color here and remember I determined that this here in number three and four belong together and then five and six belong together, seven and eight and etc. As, as far as these colors. So what we want to do is that we want to start off here and we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna do this hole in the back loop only. So this is what's gonna create the ridge. So we're gonna put one into the first one, two into the next, one into the next, two into the next, and one. So the way that I remembered it is that it's one, two, one, two, one. Once we get that done, we're gonna chain three and we just immediately come into the next one, again into the back loop only and go one, two, one, two, one. And then we're gonna just single crochet into this chain one space. It might be harder to first see it the first time but it's there. And then we're just gonna move along. So just again, one, two, one, two, one, chain three, come to the next one, one, two, one, two, one, all in the back loops and then single crochet into the next. So let's try you on row number three. We're starting a new color at this point and you'll want to as well. So let's begin. We're gonna chain up one. I've already slip stitched to attach and then we just come. So if you don't know where the first double crochet is, just kind of pull it apart and you can see that it's leaning over and you want to just kind of come over top of the straggler and in the first back loop only. So if you're new to crochet, this is an intermediate level but you may have some beginners here, is that each one of these stitches consist of two loops. So when you go through both loops, you'll see that you can see them. That's one stitch. If you come into the first loop closest to you, that's the front loop and if you come into the other loop, that's the back loop and we wanna play within the back loops only. To do this, then we're just gonna do a back loop into, a back loop double crochet into the first one and then there's gonna be two into the next one and we're gonna just maintain those counts. And then we want to put one into the next and then two into the next one. And then for the side it's just one into the next one. So remember that what we have. We have one, two, one, two, one. You're going to now chain three. So one, two, three and starting in the very next one we want to come down the other side. So we're gonna start off with one by itself, one double crochet and then two into the next one one into the next one and then two into the next one and the very last one that you should end up with should have one into the final. Okay, so it's one, two, one, two, one. Now what we want to do is find that chain one space. It's right here. It's kind of tight the very first time. It's, you'll see it's kind of in the middle of two of these humps and just a single crochet into that. And then what we want to do then is start on the next one. So just pull it up and you can see where these fans start. Okay, so we're gonna start off and we're gonna put in one, first one and then two. And then one and then two. And then one. Okay, so then remember it's one, two, one, two, one. Chain three and then coming back into the next one, just come down the other side and I want you to do this all the way across. So it's one and then this will be two, a one, next one will be two, and the very final one should be one. So you'll see it ridge is actually starting. So one, two, one, two, one. Then come into the chain one space. It's tight down there and you're gonna single crochet and then do that. And I want you to go all the way across the chain like this. You'll notice that it might wanna open up like this but it will come back in and please do, uh, continue this all the way and I'll see at the end of this row. So it's the same thing going all the way across. When you get all the way to the other side, I've just got my one, two, one, two, one and then I'm gonna chain one and I am going to um, slip stitch 
to the top of the last single crochet that's left. And I do not wanna get rid of this color, I wanna keep it on and we're gonna go back to the diagram and you will see the texture is beautiful and now we're going to have to use this gold to come back across and it's a matter of doing that slip stitching and we're gonna go back to the diagram now. Okay, so let's baffle you some more. So what we have just done is that we've just come all the way to the end, we've slip stitched it and we're now holding. So we're gonna chain up one and we are going to slip stitch in the first five. So one, two, three, four, five. I've marked it here for you. And then as soon as you get that, that fifth one done, you are going to put ten double crochets in this chain three space. So it's really quite easy to remember. We're then going to skip the first two. So one, two is skipped and then slip stitch in the three, four and five and then chain one and then skip up to the third one. So one, two is skipped and go to three, four, five and then once you have that done skip the next two and just immediately put ten double crochets in this chain three. That's all you gotta do. The trick is in this one is that the very ending when we go to do this is that when we come to the end you are still gonna skip over to the sec uh, one, two, come three, four and five but you need to continue See how the blue matches? You gotta go six and seven and then that's where you're gonna finish off. So you have to go all the way down there because that's where you started on this side. So you will never have balance if you don't do this on both sides. So let's uh, do that and let's test your skills. Okay, so here's this beauty again. So let's turn our work and let's get started on row number four. It's not as hard as it looks, it really isn't. So you're just gonna chain up one and you're gonna come to your first one that's in the fan. That's the first double crochet and I want you to slip stitch to the fifth one away and you're gonna slip right in the actual stitch itself. So not a back loop. So you're just gonna come into the first one. So slip, so one and slip two, slip three, slip four and slip five. And if it's right, you should have two stitches left before this chain three. In this case, that's right. So what we want to do is just extend into this chain three space and apply ten double crochets there. So let's do that. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So it's a lot going on in the chain three and what I would do is just take the whole thing and just shift it a bit. Just kind of pull on it so that it exposes your stitches. So we're just gonna skip the first two. So one, two is skipped and then come into the next one. So uh, slip stitch three, slip stitch four, slip stitch five. You're going to chain one and then come up to the other side. So watch where the fans start up. So you see this one, here is one, two and this is the third one. That's where you wanna start. So three is skipped, uh, slipped, four and five and right where you finished there should be two stitches left and there is and then you put in ten double crochets again into the chain three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Okay, just pull on it just to make more space and then what you can just do is slip stitch. So you gotta skip the first two. So one, two, slip on to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, chain one and then come up on the other side, see where they start. So you've got one, two, go to the third. So slip three, slip four, slip five. And then you got two left before the chain three so you know you're in the right count and then three, uh, ten double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So pull on it to expose it. So you're gonna skip over to the third one. So skip one, two and slip stitch the three but because now this is the edge you're slip stitching three, four, five, six and seven. 
and then that brings it, this us in balance and therefore you're good to go. And so you have the beautiful raising up and you wanna get rid of this color now and we're gonna begin then the next row which is then considered uh, the part of the repeat. Okay, so the row that we just did is always gonna be consistent and so then I'm gonna start you on a new color and then you're just gonna continue. Now when you're doing this uh, particular pattern, this afghan, you're gonna wanna finish off on row number six. So row number six um, is going to be the next row that I'm about to start with you which is the same as this big one right here. And then you can apply tassels if you wish as well. So let's uh, continue then into row number six and continue our journey. So change your color and let's begin that next. So let's start the next one. So right where we are we just finished up and we just slip stitched up till seven. So now we want to start the next row and we wanna start it on the fifth one. So you can just count it back if you wish. And so we're gonna slip stitch it here and then begin what we already know. So it's one and these are all in the back loops of course. So one, two, one, two, one, chain three, come to the next one, one, two, one, two, one and then just uh, single crochet in here. So the trick is, is to make sure you're starting off in the right section right here and we're gonna continue this journey across. So let's begin this row. Okay, so we just finished off right here. I've already fastened off, got my loose ends in. So what I want to do is that I want to start off and I wanna start off in the fifth one if you've noticed that where it is. So if you just follow these fans, you can actually follow it backwards. So this is seven, six or five and right when we did this we did the slip stitching in the three, four and five. So it's the fifth one that we want to join the new color to. So we're just gonna join like that and then we're gonna begin our journey uh, then across. So we immediately come to this uh, uh, ten and we're gonna immediately start in the first one that's part of the ten and we're gonna put in in the back loop only one double crochet. So it's the same counts as before. So you got one and then you come to the next one it's got two. And then one and two and then one. Okay, so then the counts are what you already know them to be. So there is one, two, one, two, one. And then once you get that one done, we want to begin our chain three space that we had before. I'm just pulling up some extra yarn here. So you're just gonna chain three and then coming to the next one. So we start down the other side. So we're gonna start off with one. And the next one has two. And then we have one. The next one has two. And then one. So we just come now down. So we're just going to double, or sorry, single crochet in this chain one space. And then begin again. So starting off in the first one that is part of that, that ten and we're gonna do one double crochet. So one and then the next one has two all in the back loops of course. And you're gonna continue this all the way across. So you already kinda know what you're doing at this point. The first tw uh, two times through this pattern for me I was like oh my god this is so hard but then once I understood those counts it got a lot easier for me in order to me to follow so I wasn't so manic about going back and forth in the instructions. So chain three because you're at the tops. So you have one, two, one, two, one chain three and then starting in the next one it's going to be one. My ball is being a little difficult off camera just one second. So one's in and then we got two into the next. My ball was underneath a few extra balls so there's too much weight on it for it to want to come out nicely. So then we got one into the next and then two into the next one after that and then one. Okay, so it's one, two, one, two, one and then single crochet in the chain one space and then come immediately to the next ten and just start the first one. So you're, you're skipping a lot of space but because of the um, how deep this goes is it makes complete sense. 
So there'd be two in the next and then one and then two and one. Okay, you're at the top. So one, two, one, two, one, chain three and coming down. So we have one and the next one is two And so I'm coming to the other side. Eventually you will get there as well. So if you wanna see how that's done, now's the time to stay in tune. So and then one. So coming down the other side. So you got one, two, one, two, one. And what I need you to do is that I need you to slip stitch to the fifth one away. So you can either count it back. So you can go seven, six, five, or you can go where this one is, three, four, five. It's still the fifth one and slip stitch. And so when you push it down like this, you'll see that it is straight up. So now you're gonna see that it wants to open up, but that's just because of the nature, nature of the stitches. Once you get more in a row, it'll stay more vertical. So let's begin the next row, which is the same as what you already did before. So we've now just finished over here. We've slip stitched. So we're going to immediately start up and we're gonna chain up one and we are going to slip to the fifth one. So one, two, three, four, five, and then put your 10 in and then slip over to the third one. So skipping one, two, so slip three, four, five, chain one, then skip to the third one. So one, two, so slip three, four, five, and then uh, put 10 into the next chain three. So this is exactly what we've already just done down here. So you can see that how it's grayed out. That's showing you the indication of coloring. So that's a pretty fun rate. So let's go through this one last row and then we're gonna leave this for you for the remaining of the project. So let's begin. We are going to just chain one and come into the very first uh, double crochet that you have and slip stitch over to the fifth one. So let's count up. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you're slipping in the regular stitch. So not in a back loop at all. So you have two stitches left over. So I know it's right. And then you're going to apply 10 double crochets into that chain three space. So let's count those. So I've already got one. That was two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I just kind of grab the whole chunk and just kind of pull on it a little bit. So I'm gonna skip the first one. So one, two, go to the third. So slip into the third the fourth and the fifth just like that and then you're going to just chain one and then just come up to the other side. So look where the fans start up. So one, two and come to the third. So uh, slipping third, fourth and fifth. You'll have two left over that you haven't touched and you'll start immediately ten into the chain three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just pull on it a little bit. So skipping one, two, go to the third. So uh, slip th uh, third, the fourth, and the fifth. Okay, chain one and come to the other side. So skipping the one, two, go to the third. So slip the third, fourth and fifth. You'll have two stitches left over and then put ten into the top. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then coming down, so skip one, two, and because this is the very end, you want to slip into the third, the fourth, the fifth, and don't forget the other two, six and seven. So you'll notice this jets out a little bit more on the one side. It's okay. It, it lines up eventually once you get some um, pressure to it. 
and so then that's it for that color. So you want to begin your next color and it'll be just the same row that you saw right here. So you're gonna apply that and then go across and then keep on doing that each and every time. So it's a really kind of an easy pattern to be able to remember uh, once you understand these counts and just make sure that you get rid of your tails at the end. And on the um, the sofa that you saw in the original photo, they don't have it displayed like this. They actually have it displayed like this. So you'll notice that the ridges are appearing more on one side than the other and they notice that it's on the sofa hanging down like this. Again, it's your creativity, it's your choice on how you wanna display it. But this is the OG Afghan, another free pattern by our friends at Yarnspirations.com. We hope to see you again on our next video. Bye bye now, have a good one.